Hey guys, Brian Boer with Berkshire Hathaway and welcome to this edition of What Am I Signing? This is one year's worth of real estate transactions, a lot of paper. And with more and more forms being signed electronically, people need the opportunity to really learn about what they're signing. So hopefully these videos help. Let's get into today's form. On this episode of What Am I Signing? Uh, I wanna talk about a form you might see. It's called the Addendum to Purchase slash sale of home contingency. So the reasons you'll see this is if you're a buyer that needs to sell a property to purchase, or if you're a seller and you're receiving an offer, the buyer that wants to buy your home, you know, they love, they love your house, they wanna buy it, but to make the transaction work, they have a property that they need to sell first. So this is where you get all those little details on paper. So uh, the buyer's address of their current property will show up on here, which is kind of great. It allows you to maybe do a little research on that property and, and get an idea of whether you think that property is gonna sell quickly or not. Um, and then there's some language as, is that property currently listed? If it's not currently listed, how quickly or how much time do they have to get that property on the market? Who's gonna be in charge of selling that property? You know, what brokerage? Um, just all kind of little, little facts that a seller needs to know whether they're gonna accept this offer or not. Because if, if you're gonna, you know, be selling a property that's a really tough sell, as a seller, maybe I don't wanna have that contingency. Maybe I don't want to attempt to work with you until you get your property sold. Um, and then the other kind of details on this is, is how this contingency gets removed. So the easiest way to get this contingency removed, obviously, is, is the buyer getting their current property sold. So in Minnesota, they have to get an accepted contract and then also get all the contingencies except for financing removed on the sale of their current house. So the nice thing is by the time they're removing the contingency to purchase your home, if you're a seller, you know that they've already went through inspection and all that fun stuff on their end. Also, the seller has the option to demand removal of this contingency at any time. So if a seller say gets a backup offer that they wanna work with, you basically go to the current buyers you're working with and say, hey, you have three days to get your home sold. That time frame is agreed to ahead of time. So sometimes it's three days, some people ask for a week, some people ask for 24 hours. Um, that's all stuff that gets negotiated on your original offer. And just the last little part of this form goes through what happens if a seller demands removal of the con contingency and buyer can't get their property sold. So basically, long story short, buyer has that little time frame to get their property sold. If they can't, purchase agreement can be canceled, earnest money is returned, and now seller is free to move on and work with someone else. So kind of a confusing form. If you have any specific questions on this form, uh, feel free to give me a call because you know it is only a one page form, but there is a lot of really intricate details uh, in this form. And honestly, there's a lot of benefits about accepting a contingent offer. And then there's a lot of downfalls about accepting a contingent offer as a seller. And there's, and there's pros and cons as a buyer on, on how you present your offer. So uh, as always, specific questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 218-850-2004. Thanks.